everybody, and welcome to the first episode of creating your own Minecraft mod. In lesson one, we're going to be setting up Eclipse IDE and Java JDK. For step one, we're going to be setting up Java JDK. Um, Java JDK stands for Java Development Kit. So the first thing you're going to do is you want to go to your start icon and click your control panel. And then from there, you're going to go to system and security and you're going to click system and then from here you can see your system type right here and mine is a 64-bit operating system so you want to either write this down or remember it so you can minimize out of that and um, you can also click computer from the start menu system properties in the top left corner and you'll get there faster once you've done that first step you're going to go to www.oracle.com um, slash network slash java slash java se slash download slash index.html remember this will be in the description so you can just click the link down there to get to it quicker and you want to click this icon right here that says java underneath it says java platform it doesn't matter what any of this says you want to download this by clicking this and coming down here and you'll see um, this little box area right here. So what you want to do is you have to accept this uh, license agreement So you just press accept and I'll say thank you and now you can download any of these We're not going to focus on any of these. But we're only going to focus on these two down here If you have Windows if you have Linux, it's up here and Mac is right here um, And so for Windows we have Windows times 86 which is 32-bit and Windows times 64 which is 64-bit so download one of these corresponding to what we just found out in our um, system display right here then after you downloaded it you're going to save it to your desktop and run it to install follow the instructions and install the Java JDK so the next step we're going to do to be making our mod is we will need to set up Eclipse IDE and to set it up we'll have to download it so we'll need to prepare the download before we download it however um, by going into our computer section you can find this by just clicking right here double tapping that and you'll be in here um, so what you want to do is you want to right click the background and click new folder and you'll just name this Eclipse IDE and there we go so now you're going to go to this website right here link is in the description as usual and the first one that comes up, Eclipse IDE for Java developers, will have two download options for Windows 32-bit or 64-bit. You want to um, click the one that corresponds to what version you have on your computer. So mine is 64-bit, so I'll click that one. And all you do is you click this download button right here. Tap that, and it'll ask you if you want to save the file. So you'll click OK, and it'll download. So I'll be here after that is finished. All right, so it's done downloading, and you can see we have it right here. So what you're going to do is you'll drag this, and we'll just set it on our desktop right here. And let's go into here, and put it in here. Right-click this, and from here we're going to click Open with WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR, look up WinRAR on Google and you'll be able to find it, download it, and it'll help you open up um, files like these, these zip files. Um, so then what you're going to do from here is you'll press Extract to, and then just press OK. And this will just extract it right into this folder we have right here. So once it's done... We will just open this up and we have all of the things we need right here. Right click this icon and you can press send to desktop. I already have a shortcut right here so I can just delete that. And there you go, you've installed Eclipse IDE. Congratulations, you have completed the first lesson. Now if you want to check to see if Eclipse works, double tap it and you can uncheck that. And it seems to be working. Yes, perfect. So, in the next episode, we will be working on how we can start setting up our workspace. Thank you for watching. Um, for Minecraft Forge, and so you can see, we'll just press source right here. 
and it'll take us to AdFly where we can be redirected to the download. So all you do is you wait for this here, and press skip add.